Antibiotics are a pillar of modern medicine. Odds are your doctor has relied on them to treat you. Back in 1940, when antibiotics were first used, one in 500 Americans died every year from infectious diseases like tuberculosis. Thanks in large part to these miracle drugs, death from these diseases quickly dropped in half. Now antibiotics are used to treat ear infections, strep throat and pneumonia, and when infections set in after simple cuts or scrapes, or after major medical events like surgeries, antibiotics are essential. But doctors are warning that some antibiotics are becoming overused, and that's making them less effective. When antibiotics are overused, some bacteria can develop resistance to antibiotic drugs and become what are called superbugs. We're already seeing huge public health problems from the rise in superbugs. More than two million Americans get antibiotic resistant infections every year, and 23,000 die as a result. And the problem is getting much, much worse. We're back now with what's being called a major threat worldwide, antibiotic resistance. In a new world report, in a new world report, the World Health Organization warns that we could be headed toward a post-antibiotic era. 80% of antibiotics aren't used to treat sick people. Instead, they're sold to factory farms. Farming operations routinely give antibiotics to healthy animals in their feed. This is done to promote faster growth and prevent future illnesses. And even the most medically important antibiotics, like penicillin, are given to animals. According to one study, when different countries introduced certain antibiotics on farms, a surge occurred in people contracting antibiotic-resistant intestinal infections one to two years later. One, Campylobacter, increased 20% in Denmark and 70% in Spain. The World Health Organization put out a report in May which said that without urgent coordinated action, the world is heading towards a post-antibiotic era in which common infections and minor injuries, which have been treatable for decades, can once again kill. That's why the World Health Organization, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and so many other health experts agree that to protect public health, we need the farm industry to stop giving antibiotics to healthy animals. Using antibiotics on healthy animals to promote growth is to me outrageous, dangerous, irresponsible, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, I don't care if my chicken is a little bit plumper. I care that this wonder drug is going to kill an infection in a child or an adult who has an infection. And to me, it's just completely irresponsible for agriculture to use antibiotics in that way. Some bugs are this close to being resistant to nearly every important antibiotic we have. And that's a problem. What it means is that if one of those bugs infects you, in the time it takes your doctor to find a drug that's going to work, you might be dead. The Food and Drug Administration has the power to stop the sale of antibiotics to animals that aren't sick, but powerful interests stand in the way. Despite the risks and the alternatives, the factory farm industry is strongly resisting any changes. So the U.S. Public Interest Research Group, U.S. PERG, is working to get President Obama to weigh in. We're working to convince him and his science advisors at the White House that this is truly a major medical issue with potentially catastrophic consequences. And we're working to show him that taking strong action on this issue would be popular with the public. So we wanna shine a bright spotlight on this issue and raise the voice of thousands of Americans, public health officials, and farmers who are supportive of this campaign. We'll be talking to 336,000 Americans across the country about this issue just this summer. We're going to get 100,000 Americans to sign a petition to President Obama calling for change. And we're gonna be working with the medical community, including finding 5,000 doctors and other health professionals who are supportive of the campaign. We'll need your help to protect the effectiveness of antibiotics so that they can continue saving millions of lives. To learn how you can take action, visit our website.